boys and girls. Today's story is called How to Wash a Woolly Mammoth. And I thought it was quite perfect for the moment since our writing activities this week are all about giving Little Bear instructions on how to get to sleep. So, How to Wash a Woolly Mammoth by Michelle Robinson and Kate Hindley. Does your woolly mammoth need a wash? It's not a very easy thing to do. Woolly mammoths are quite big and wool is notoriously tricky to clean. Don't worry, just follow this step-by-step -step guide. Step one, fill the bathtub. Now, if your mammoth is feeling thirsty, this may take a while. Step two, add bubbles. <laughs> Step three, add a mammoth. Oh, you might have to spooky, spooky him in or push and shove. <gasps> Careful he doesn't run away. You might need a heavy duty crane. Finally, if all else fails, there's always cake. <laughs> Step four, start scrubbing. Don't forget to wash behind the ears. Step five, wash his big fat tummy. Careful, a mammoth's tummy is terribly tickly. Step six, make a splash. Careful, make sure you've got your umbrella. She looks quite wet, doesn't she? Step seven. Now for the real woolly bit. You're going to need some shampoo. Not too much. <laughs> Wash his head. Ooh, it says bubble bliss. Who me? Hair raising. <laughs> and then we've got mammoth mullet. And that is, oh, Twirly Whirly, the King, the Comb Over, and then it says, be careful not to get any in the mammoths. Oh, eyes, uh-oh, oh no. That's torn it. Uh-oh. Step eight. Can you see him at the top of the tree? She's all the way at the bottom. He's ran away, I think. To get a woolly mammoth down from a tree, you'll need a very strong trampoline. <laughs> oh, what's he gonna need now though? What's he landed in? He's going to need another bath. Step nine, let him share a bath with you. That's always more fun, isn't it? More fun than going in on your own. And then step 10, throw in the towel and snuggle. And that's it. A nice little story all about instructions. I hope you've had a fab day and I'll see you again soon. Bye.